Hey, Steph. Have you met Monty yet? What up, all you fish tank ninjas? What we got right here? Hold on. I'm gonna be right back. It's an update on Beauty, the 90 Gallon Reef. Two questions arise after this introduction. First, where did I go? If you must know, I visited a local reefer's house in Houston, Texas. Second, how did I get back so fast? That's simply called movie magic. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Now that this is out of the way, let's get to the story at hand. If you don't know this by now, I'm a huge fan of local reef clubs. And Marsh here in Houston is a great, large, and helpful one. Just like everything else though, there are several pros and cons to this, and I will simply just dabble a little bit into the subject in this update. Just in case you're wondering, Every night before bed, I surf the Marsh Forum and a few online vendors before it's time to crash. A few nights ago, while laying down, I stumbled across a local reefer in the community who was doing his yearly fragging of high-end corals. You hear that? That's what the jackpot sounds like. Ding, 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 ding. At least I think that's what the jackpot sounds like. I don't actually know. I honestly don't. Gamble. But this is what it sounds like in my head when he replied telling me everything I inquired about was still available. Now, to be clear, there are a few concerns we should have when dealing with people on a forum, especially if you do not know them well. Number one concern, is it safe? Going to meet up a stranger with cash in hand is not exactly a wise thing to do, especially if you're young. You never know what kind of crazy you can get into. My safety is something I take very, very seriously, but felt it was okay to meet this reefer up because of his reputation in the community. Also, the question of, are these corals even what they say they are, is a valid concern to have. Again, in this particular situation, the hobbyist has been a member for over five years. And his post was filled with happy customers and this made me feel a bit better. So I decided it was worth a visit. I quickly hopped into my car and headed over to check out his stock and I had money to spend. I did go over there with an open mind in regards to purchasing more than I actually inquired about, but I honestly wasn't eager to. After chatting for a while, I learned a bit about his own little ecosystem. Some of the troubles he's had, the lighting he actually uses, and his opinion on the placement and husbandry of the corals. I'm actually interested. I really suggest if you buy corals to ask questions, especially the ones I did. Do not, I repeat, do not be embarrassed. This gives me insight into what to expect in these corals. I knew what pests to keep an eye out for, knew his par was up to 900 in some areas of the tank, so I didn't actually have to worry about melting these guys and also expected the corals to come in to my system with a deeper color as they adjusted to my T5 lighting. And I knew the growth patterns and what to expect visually out of these little ones. We agreed on a price and he even threw in a freebie. Time to head home and start acclimating. Just a morning, no matter what a person tells you or how pristine their tank is, be safe. The safety of your tank is almost as important as the safety of your amazing self. Make sure to drip acclimate and dip every coral that goes into your happy little ecosystem. As an added precaution though, I also ask for my frags not to be put on plugs. This actually might sound silly to some of you guys, but I believe the more surface area you have coming from someone else's tank and into your system just increases the chance of pests. No, thank you, not in my tank. I don't want that stuff anywhere near my system. So it's worth it to me to put my corals on my own plugs. The pennies saved is just not worth the added risk, at least not in my beauty. With all that said, let me tell you one huge, but definitely not the only reason 
people get on local forums, and that is the prices. Affectionately called hobbyist prices, the steals and deals you can get on corals is insane. Allow me to provide just a few examples. Please keep in mind the prices I am quoting are on one inch frags on a search I did quickly right before making this video today. I took home four different frags this time. That was two large and also two medium sized ORA Birds of Paradise frags which retail at 45 US dollars each. Three pieces of Seasons Greetings Multipora normally running 30 US dollars. These purple Satan Pride teeth that goes for $10. And my favorite, the Reef Tech Sunburst Monty that can be as much as $49 an inch. I took all these home for only $25. That's at least a savings of $100. And that's only if I picked up one frag of each at one inch each online. Like, for real? That's not even fair. And that's the end of the video. Now it's your turn to partake. Hit that thumbs up and please remember to be safe when communicating with people you do not know, especially on forums. Leave a comment below showing love to your local reef club and don't forget to subscribe. I have videos coming at you twice a week. Every Sunday will be something educational. Every Wednesday will be a fun update on beauty. Make sure to follow Infamous Aquatics on Instagram and Facebook. And don't forget to do amazing things like surf the back of a polar bear while raising a baby seal up like Simba in The Lion King. Till next time, guys, tank like a boss. Because you are one. One what? A boss.